Back in 2018, immigration raids hit the city of O'Neill pretty hard. Now, the ACLU filed a lawsuit wanting information on what exactly happened. Channel 8's Veronica Barreto has more. In the 40-year anniversary of the O'Neill immigration raids, the SALU of Nebraska is suing the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and its Office of Inspector General. ACLU is requesting a judicial order for the release of records related to its investigation of whether ICE agents violated the rights of the more than 100 immigrants they detained in 2019. I hope it provides answers, um, and I hope they know that we're we're holding the government accountable. That we're not just telling their stories, but we're we're asking to um, release records that they're obligated to release under law. Nebraska's human rights organizations criticized the rates in O'Neill for glaring failures to provide detainees with adequate food, water, shelter, and language interpretation services. Uh, at least two women who were pregnant. They left them in the heat in, in the summer, and uh, many of them didn't have the ability to communicate. There were no interpreters were provided. Many of these these types of civil rights violations we know occurred from community members and those who provide a rapid response to the raids. ACLU says they cannot have a full picture of what happened if the DHS does not release the investigation results. Also, the organization says they want immigrants to know they have rights regardless of their immigration status. No matter who comes into your workplace, if, if it's at work, uh, your home, you have rights. And it doesn't matter what your immigration status is, you, you have rights. Um, you can't just be detained for no reason. You have rights to an interpreter to understand what's happening to you. ACLU of Nebraska says they filed a public records request in 2020, but it was ignored. Now they decided to take it to the courts. ACLU is waiting for Homeland Security to respond to the lawsuit in the coming days. Reporting in Lincoln, Veronica Barreto, Channel 8 News.